My dad used to say the job is about a lot more than a paycheck. It's about a man or woman's dignity. It's about respect. It's about their ability to look at their kids and say, honey, it's going to be okay. Well, look, because of the profligate policies that Dino and his guys have supported, and this is real, because of what they've done the last eight years, the previous eight years, there's an awful lot of parents who've had to make, and Patty's heard me say, the longest walk a parent ever can make. And that's up a short flight of stairs to their child's bedroom. You sit at the end of the bed and say, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But you can't go back to Roosevelt High School. You can't go back to St. Paul's. You can't play that little late team next year. You can't. You can't. I love these guys talking about deficit. Before I could turn on my computer, the West Wing, we were handed a bill for one trillion, three hundred billion dollars because Bush put two wars, a prescription drug benefit and a tax cut on your credit card. Uh, one single penny. Literally, I'm not making this stuff up. It sounds like science fiction. He got in trouble for helping them. Why? If the financial markets had collapsed, it would have been a worldwide depression. And every one of your pension plans, all of your housing, would have been absolutely blown away. What they do? The Bush administration handed us a rescue plan that wasn't working. And we came along and said, okay, we'll bail you out, but you have to pay back every penny. They are now paying back every single penny they borrowed from the United States. And already they paid us $25 billion in interest. We lost 431,000 auto jobs. We've added 62,000 auto jobs this year. And guess what? They're paying us back already. We have paid over 35 billion in interest, and they will pay it all back. These are real jobs for people. That's no change. Our health care system, when we took office, was absolutely broken. Your families found that their premiums went up 100% over the seven years when Bush was President of the United States. Sick people were getting denied coverage for real. They were paid their whole life, and all of a sudden they finally got a ceiling in what they paid. They all of a sudden find out they had a real serious illness. They were denied coverage because literally there was a type of error in their enrollment form. Children were getting turned away and families unable to get coverage because they had a child with a condition. It was diabetes or something like that. There was even listed as a pre-existing condition for what insurance policy pregnancy. I'm not making this stuff up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now end the those abuses. And we're going to bring the cost down. They can't do that anymore. Barack and I made a promise we'd end this war in Iraq and bring home 100,000 troops by this summer. We brought them home. They are home in their tents, and all will be home by the end of this year. When your parents were here, or if they got to go to college, we were number one in the world. My wife, Patty, knows well. And so does Maria. She's a full time professor in a community shop. We'll keep you good to go. By the way, she's first lady as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Here's the deal. We're going to pay them the next year $60 billion to allow you or your parents to win and get student loans. $60 billion. So Patty came up with a simple idea. I said, Patty, why are we paying them $60 billion to lend the money? Why don't we lend it directly to you and allow $8 million more families in America to be able to get a college loan without raising the deficit? Well, I may be wrong to have to ask my former colleagues, but I, I don't know. There may have been one or two Republicans voted for that, but most of them, they all voted to give the money to the banks and send it to your parents. Ladies and gentlemen, these guys don't get it. Look, folks, we're either going to lead the world or we're going to be led in the world. It's that basic. The world is changing. 
As William Butler Yeats said in another era, all's changed, changed utterly. The terrible beauty has been born. We will either seize this moment and lead the world, or that beautiful little baby in your arms is going to grow up in a fundamentally different country than we are now. I don't mean to be flipped here. He knows a guy so committed to the failed push policy of the past that he actually named his dog W. That's the truth, by the way. He should have a dog named W. He should have the Bush brand on it. Our job is to make sure they focus. Our job is for you to get out there, do what you did for the Rock and Movie Door. Knock on doors, make phone calls, give everyone, everyone the information. I took pictures of how I was there. When Hillary was in the PS Fieldhouse, 